Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Uh, this is Bishop William Walter Schreit, Auxiliary Bishop in the Diocese of Pittsburgh. A number of years ago, uh, a very wise and holy priest said to me, the church will not be renewed until we stop treating the Blessed Sacrament like a thing and start treating the Blessed Sacrament like a person. For the Blessed Sacrament is truly Jesus Christ, body, blood, soul, and divinity present in our midst. And, you know, as the Eucharistic pilgrimage came through the Diocese of Pittsburgh, and I'm sure that this has been the experience as this wonderful pilgrimage has gone through so many other dioceses in the United States, one of the great fruits of the pilgrimage was having people with eyes of faith see that this, what appears to be a small piece of bread, a host, is really Jesus Christ, true God and true man. We had that experience during one of our processions through the city of Pittsburgh when uh, a woman came up very close to where uh, the, our Lord was under the canopy in the monstrance as we processed down the street, and she asked, what are you protesting? And one of the sisters who was with us who had accompanied the Eucharistic pilgrimage said, oh, we're not protesting, we're praising, because this is Jesus Christ. And this woman's eyes just got real wide. She said, no way. And sister said, yes, it is really Jesus Christ. One of the people who often teaches us about the real presence in a very particular way is St. Faustino Kowalska. You know, the sister who lived in the early part of the 20th century in Poland, died in 1938, when she received all of these wonderful visions and message from our Lord and told her about the divine mercy. She talked often about his presence in the Blessed Sacrament. And she said this, she wrote in her diary, Today I felt the nearness of my mother, my heavenly mother, although before every communion I earnestly ask the mother of God to help me prepare my soul for the coming of her son, and I clearly feel her protection over me. I entreat her to be so gracious as to enkindle in me the fire of God's love, such as burned in her own pure heart at the time of the incarnation of the Word. St. Faustina believed with her whole heart and soul that when she received Holy Communion, Jesus Christ was coming into her. Do we always have that awareness? When we walk up the aisle in church, when to receive the Holy Communion at Mass. Do we really think and do we assert with faith, confess with faith, that I am receiving Jesus Christ? It's exactly what the Second Vatican Council taught too. When in the document on the dogmatic constitution on the church said, as often as the sacrifice of the cross, in which Christ our Passover was sacrificed, is celebrated on the altar, the work of our redemption is carried on. And in the sacrament of the Eucharist, the unity of all believers who form one body in Christ is both expressed and brought about. All men are called to this union with Christ, who is the light of the world, from whom we go forth, through whom we live, and toward whom our whole life strains. The Blessed Sacrament must be Jesus himself to make this happen. That we are bound with him as we receive his body and blood in Holy Communion, and then we are bound with one another in his mystical body, the Church. Sacrosanctum Concilium, 
the document of the Second Vatican Council on the sacred liturgy said this, At the Last Supper, on the night when he was betrayed, our Savior instituted the Eucharistic sacrifice of his body and blood. He did this in order to perpetuate the sacrifice of the cross throughout the centuries until he should come again, and so to entrust to his beloved spouse, the Church, a memorial of his death and resurrection, a sacrament of love, a sign of unity, a bond of charity, a paschal banquet, in which Christ is eaten, the mind is filled with grace, and the pledge of future glory is given to us. It is at the Mass, that is, his sacrifice of the cross, and also the banquet of his body and blood, in which we receive Jesus Christ, not just a symbol of him, not just some distant remembrance of him, but the living, dynamic presence of Jesus Christ. St. Faustina recognized that, believed it, confessed it. All of the saints throughout the centuries believed and confessed it. The fathers of councils, the doctors of the church, all the popes believe and confessed that Jesus is truly present on the altar, and that he who died for us, offering himself to the Father as the victim for our sins, then with incredible love and mercy, offers himself to us in the most blessed sacrament. It is Jesus himself truly present. St. Faustina said this in her diary, O Jesus, concealed in the host, my sweet master and faithful friend, how happy my soul is to have such a friend who always keeps me company. I do not feel lonely, even though I am in isolation. Jesus, host, we know each other. That is enough for me. Dear brothers and sisters, the next time we go to Mass and we walk toward the altar to receive our Lord in the Most Blessed Sacrament, and when the person who gives us Jesus holds the host up, let us look at the host and pray from our hearts, Jesus, I believe this is you. I adore you. I love you. I thank you. Heal me and increase my faith. Amen.